Oh, those nuts taste. Tastes great. Bold testicles. What's going on, you two? How we doing today? It is Christmas where you are because you are in the future. <laughs> so Merry Christmas uh, or whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays. My name is Yeti. I own this company, Yeti Machine Co. And I work on all kinds of shit. Go subscribe, go like, go comment. This video is going to be great. It is uh, the first part of a series of episodes we're going to do on uh, our trip to Born Free Texas earlier this year. I know it's been a couple months, but it took a little while to go through some of the footage. It's a lot of footage. Most of it was filmed by my dog, Mr. Ribsfit, at Ribsfit Media on Instagram. If you don't follow him already, you should. So yeah, enjoy. So to start off the trip, we, uh, we, we met up with uh, some of our buddies up in good old Victorville. We left Riverside, me and my buddy Jeff on his Dyna, my buddy Blake and his girlfriend Raven on the FXR, and uh, our buddy Kyle on his Dyna, Hector and Espy on their Dyna, and our, uh, our boy Ribsfit on his Dyna. We've all on this trip have done uh, this route to Flagstaff before. That Plex Audio I just installed right before the trip, and that thing it's kicking ass, man. Even at 80 miles an hour, the full face on, I could hear my, my music loud and clear. So we were bumping some good tunes. We didn't really have a, a crazy pace. We were stopping like every 75 to 100 miles. Uh, the FXR in the group didn't, was what got probably the worst range out of all of them. So we just kind of kept it safe. to uh, Arizona right by uh, Topak. We stopped in for some food and uh, you know, had a couple road sodas. Had some Rocky Mountain Oysters. Rocky Mountain Oysters, bold testicles. Oh, those nuts taste, taste great. <laughs> taste great. Did you already eat it? Yeah, they're yeah. good. Uh, most of us did, a few of us were a little too scared <laughs> to try them out, but they were tasty. I'd never had them before and uh, this trip was full of a lot of things I didn't do before, so had some bull nuts and um, our boy Mazo tried his luck at some fly fishing off the dock. Uh, he got skunked, but he did his best. Kept on moving through Arizona. In at Roadkill Cafe, had some grub, had some road soders. Um, did run into a little bit of a problem on on uh, Ribsfit's Dyna. Uh, he 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 had a, a funky uh, cutout. It was just like cutting out on him at lower RPMs, but at higher RPMs it was running okay. And his he kept losing his lights and could not get it figured out on the side of the road. Was able to get it running again. And keep it chugging through the through the trip. We decided not to really screw with it too much there. We wanted to keep it pushing, so we got him got him running. As we were coming into Flagstaff, 
uh, it got really smoky and it was kind of cool. They were doing like a controlled burn. I don't know, just made for some cool scenery. Flagstaff is beautiful, man. Northern Arizona is gorgeous. It, it honestly, I mean, Flagstaff reminded me a lot of Big Bear uh, down here in California. We actually ended up staying in an Airbnb that we've stayed in before. Perfect for for like uh, riding trips. It's got a lot of room in the in the garage and, uh, and plenty of room for people to sleep. So it was great. Got the mini bike out of the truck. Did some hot laps with it because it had like I think it had tipped over and dumped a bunch of gas out. So I want to make sure it was still running okay. So yanked it out of the truck. I did some hot laps around the neighborhood. Probably pissed the neighbors off. Whatever. But yeah, we all hopped in the back of Mazo's truck. Went and got some some grub. It was pretty mellow. Uh, we went back to the to the Airbnb and just chilled. So on the second day, we we didn't wake up super early. We knew we had a, a relatively short day. We were riding from Flagstaff to Albuquerque. It's only a few hundred miles. And we got breakfast at the gas station. Got to watch Nazo do a 50-50 on a on a curb, so that was kind of cool. We were heading for Albuquerque, going from kind of deserty, mountainous to big, you know, beautiful rock formations. We ended up making a stop in the, uh, we haven't been there before on that route, Knife City, Sun Valley, Arizona. Uh, awesome place, and you could get all the cool stuff that we can't get in California. So we stopped by there, did some shopping. I ended up getting a really right, cool buck knife. Kept on moving. That thrash and supply bag that I put on ended up uh, working out really well, how I built the sissy bar. But if I put on the cruise control and take my hands off the bars, it works great as a backrest. Um, as you can see, uh, I was riding down the down the highway thinking about y'all hitting the subscribe button. So yeah, hit that button. Anyways, we arrived in good old Albuquerque. Uh, we went to our, our favorite Mexican food spot, good old Casino Azul. Got some sopapillas. Had some grub, Woo! and uh, day two was a, a success. We uh, we had no major issues on the bikes, and um, which you know I should have known a bit of a indication of things to come that the trip wouldn't be so easy the rest of the time. And that's it for this one, y'all. Appreciate you guys staying till the end. Uh, had a lot of fun making it. Had a lot of fun on the trip. We've got more episodes to come. Wanted to break it up into smaller parts for y'all. So if you liked what you watched, do me a favor, go subscribe to my page. Go give me a like, go give me a comment, go add me on all socials. It's at Yeti Machine Co. on Instagram and TikTok. Um, also, if you want to support me, check out my website, www.yetimachineco.com. We got shirts and mugs and hats and all kinds of cool shit. We got some new designs coming for the new year. There's this new thing called Super Thanks. So it allows you to support me directly. If you wanna leave me a message, give me some suggestions for another video, whatever you wanna do on there. If you wanna leave me a super thanks, I'll, I'll read those out loud on the next episode. I'd appreciate it. As always, party on and Merry Christmas, you filthy animals, and a Happy New Year. <laughs>